Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and it's another day of crafting. So today I wanted to do some simple projects. I'm actually, well I actually started a new job so I've been a little busier than usual and intro take two. And I wanted to try making some Christmas sweater. Take five. Intro take six. Oh, I just want to start crafting. <laughs> Let's get started. I went shopping in my mom's closet. She had a bag of clothes she was gonna donate and this green sweater vest, knit sweater vest was in it. Okay, so here's the green sweater. As you can see, it's quite long. <laughs> The color's nice and I like this little turtleneck here and how it's sleeveless. So I think all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just try and shorten it somehow. Make it a little crop sweater. I'm just gonna look at the mirror. I'm purposely wearing my high-waisted jeans because that's kind of where I want to shorten it to. Okay, so I'm just going to use this piece of chalk from my jeans to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and say six and a quarter, six and a half. It's okay if it's not perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and shorten it. <laughs> Before I began, I looked up how to shorten a hem and found this video that was super helpful that I'll link down below. I got these plastic needles from Joann's and I'm going to use this yellow thread to act as a safety guard. This is to prevent the sweater from unraveling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start threading this kind of safety thread through here. Making sure I thread through the correct row. Oh my goodness, this is going to take a long time. Oops, did I, did I skip a row? Okay, let me give you a close up. I've knit before, but I definitely lost all my knitting vocabulary. Since I want to keep this border at the bottom, I'm going to thread in another safety guard right next to the border. Essentially, we're going to take out this middle section. Now that the safety threads are in, it's time to cut. I followed the video and cut the yarn in the row right below the safety thread in the section that would be removed. I didn't find a video to sew these two pieces together, so let me warn you I went through a couple days of trial and error. I'm going to show you everything I did and all my mistakes so that you can save some time if you would like to try a project like this. 
Here's take one. My original idea was to simply sew the yarn back and forth between the top section loops and the bottom section loops. This is probably the perfectionist in me. I already put the two pieces together, but it's not the same stretchiness. I did not try and mimic the knitting pattern. I think what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start over <laughs> this part. And I, what I did before was I just thread the yarn through each one alternating. This time what I'm gonna try, because I wanna try and make it look seamless. Well, hold on, let me think about this. So instead of just going straight, like alternating, I'm actually going to go through two of them and then it makes this wave. Let's try this again. I feel like I could have left it, but I want it to be better. I'm gonna try and make it better. Try number two was still not quite what I was looking for, so back to the drawing board. Finally, I figured it out, third time's the charm. Here's the key step that I missed before. As the yarn alternates between the top and the bottom loop, when you go to the other side, the yarn needs to always go back through the previous loop. In this way, the yarn goes through each loop twice. When you go back on the top, you want to make sure you go back through the loop that uh, was previously Threaded. This is the important step. Whatever the direction it went through, you want to go the opposite direction. And this will create that knit look. So after you go through that one, you're going to go one more on the top. And then again, when you go back to the other side, you want to go in the direction, the opposite direction. The direction does matter. You also want to make sure after every couple of loops to tighten the thread, this way the seam is the same tightness as the rest of the knit sweater. This is trial number one, and this is trial number three. Looks way better now. Alright, so this is what it looks like so far. I'm really, really happy with how the seam looks, it's, I don't know if you can see this, but it's very it's seamless pretty much. I like the length now, but the width, I think I could fix up a little bit more. I'm gonna use some clips to mark where I'm going to sew so that it'll be a little tighter. And then once I take this off, I will try and make it symmetrical. And the good thing about the way that I re-sewed it together is now it's stretchy, which is nice because before the first time it wasn't stretchy because I just sewed straight through. Now it stretches. So even though I'm going to tighten the width, I'll still be able to put it on. So I'm really excited about that. Let's go ahead and finish this sweater. Make sure your shirt is inside out. First, I use the same yellow thread to make a guideline from the bottom clip to right under the armpit. I am very loosely threading this in. Then I use some extra green yarn I had from the middle section of the shirt to sew along the guideline thread.
I did this a couple times to make sure it was tight and secure. And that's it! This step was way easier than sewing the two pieces together. This is the before. And then after. What do y'all think? I am loving this new top. I love the length. I love the width. I think I'm gonna wear this a lot this winter. I was actually supposed to work on another sweater for this video, but this top took so long. Very worth it, but it took so long, I'm gonna save that one for another video. So if you enjoyed watching this, please like and subscribe to see more. Um, I hope that y'all got some ideas or inspiration. If you want to see more crafting fun, you can also follow me at Paper and Leaf on Instagram. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!